Hello again. Now we're going to be moving on further into chapter 8, looking at sections 8.3 and 8.4, which are all about interest and interest rates and accumulations of values, where 8.3 is about an idea called simple interest. It's not a very in-depth idea, so we can start off there with a little bit of history in terms of how these things work. It's not really stuff that's necessarily meant to be included in here, but I thought it'd be nice to have a little bit of extra context. Then from there we're going to talk about you know the basic values for how we compute an amount given an interest rate and how we get an interest rate given an amount. Basic algebra properties there that we're going to be working with. Then in 8.4 we're continuing on to talk about what is called compound interest. So we're looking at the difference between simple and compound interest, computing values for compounding interest depending on how the rate compounds including a thing called continuously compounding interest, then talking about how we can plan to get a specific value, and then finally a thing called effective annual yield, which is another connection between simple and compound interest. Where for this week, standard slate, we've got a worksheet that we've got on Friday, some assignments in my lab for next Wednesday, and a pre-assessment to get us set up for 8.5 and 8.6, do next Monday. Nice and easy. Let's get in this stuff here and talk about interest rates.